Do not let perfection be the enemy of good. That's something I came across a little while ago actually, but I wrote it down. I wanted to make a video on it. Do not let perfection be the enemy of the good. Meaning, as you strive to um, improve your life's conditions and situation in any field, in any matter, whether it is you want to feel better, you want to feel more inspired, you want to inspire others, you want to improve your financial uh, situation, anything, anything, doesn't matter. You want to get really good grades in your school. In the process, I mean, look, I think perfection, yes, that's, it's almost innate in humans to strive for something which actually ultimately is the journey back home, back to the divinity, back to oneness, back to God. That's ultimately that, that thing, that innate thing inside humans that we're striving to return to. We're essentially striving to return to the one. We're striving to overcome our sense of separateness uh, back to the one. Ultimately, that's, that's what perfection is. Perfection is a going back to that, is, a, is, a, is a, a loss of a sense of separation, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, but then that, sometimes we try to do that in other areas, not sometimes, a lot of times. Uh, so, in one way or another, we all are striving to get back to a certain place. Get, you know, go, we, we, we have inside of us an innate ideal, that's why morality exists. That's why the vast majority of humans fr um, are disgusted by things like pedophilia, things like rape, you know, because we just know that's not, that's not something um, a more evolved being would do. It just isn't. So, um, but in the process, do not let perfection be the enemy of good. So if you set a goal, if you say, I want to do some, and in the process, you're doing good, but maybe it's a little slow, and then you're hard on yourself. Do not let perfection be the enemy of the good. So, yes, do not, in other words, do not be hard on yourself. Uh, appreciate the journey. I mean, really, it's, it's, a, it's a freaking cliche, isn't it? You know? Hey, dude. Dude. It's not about the destination, dude. It's about the journey, right? That's something like a, like a, like a love and light hippie would say, right? And it's a cliche. But guys, it's it's pretty pretty profound cliche, okay? It's it's pretty profound shit right there. It's not about the destination; it's about the journey. So if you're appreciating those little incremental improvements, because let me tell you guys, the little incremental improvements in anything you're doing, those are sustainable. I'm gonna give you a personal example here. So I did psychedelics like nonstop for like three years in a row. I was permanent I was in a state of permanent high on a combination of mushies and Lucy right um, I'm not kidding guys three straight years okay I've consumed like hundreds of tabs of, of Lucy right and copious amounts of mushies so like I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not exaggerating here three full years. A limited amount of days in those three years I wasn't on something here okay and I felt so great in those three years so in a higher elevated state of consciousness always content always grateful always graceful always happy smiling so I use these like super like it's like a super thing that you take and then it puts you in a immediately in, in, a, in, a, in a more elevated state of course those dependent but I did most of it was a dose that I can still function normally, not an ego dissolution uh, per se. So, but anyway, then I stopped some years ago. I think in the last, I don't know, I'm not, uh, those numbers aren't exactly accurate, but let's say in the last three years, I mean, I stopped, I pretty much did it just a few times in the last three years, just a few times. Maybe four times, five times, no more than five. I really don't think so, but anyway. Um, but I'll tell you, I came down, I came down, I came down because it wasn't sustainable. I was like using a cheat. It wasn't happening all organically inside of me. 
So I was experiencing improvements in my state of awareness, but they were forced because I had to take a substance. And I came down in those last three years. I've experienced certain things. I've experienced depression, things like that, because I stopped. And those changes that were happening in me weren't sustainable. So as it turns out, those small incremental changes, they last with us for a lifetime because they happened organically. They happened from within. They weren't forced by something, a substance or something like that. And that applies to everything. This is just, you take it, you know, small incremental changes. Do not let perfection be the enemy of good. But also, do not let good be the enemy of perfection. Re recognize there is, there definitely is. There is a state of perfection, a way of conducting oneself, a way of handling things, a way of living a life of detachment and compassion at the same time. There is, there is a, a perfection. That's what those masters like Jesus and Buddha reached. So also, do not let good be the enemy of perfection because that could lead to complacency. It's a paradox. Life is a paradox. Everything about life screams paradox, paradox. Okay? So we'll stop it here as to not complicate things any further than they're already complicated. I thank you for watching and I thank all the beautiful, generous people for donating. If it's something you're, you're, you're of interest of, if you got $100, $200, $300, $300 million, I'm joking guys, anything is appreciated. If not, keep watching these videos, that's appreciated. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.